This is how I live, I live. This is what I love of. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest, and myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another episode. Happy belated Mother's Day. Thank you. Crystal. Thank you. Did you enjoy your weekend? I did. I did. I had a great Mother's Day. I, I had a good weekend. It was it was fun. I saw one, lots of people out enjoying themselves. And, it was nice. It was hot yeah. actually in Atlanta. The temperature. I know. My AC is still broken. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Well, it feels very cool in here now. I, I worked on my um, on Mother's Day. I was gonna say my day, but I worked on it's Mother's not Day. Yours. It, it wasn't that special to me. I don't. I didn't see all the. Did you do something for your mom? No, I worked. Did you give her some money? Did no. you give her some money, money or a gift? Money? Yes, I don't, or I, a gift. I don't do gifts. Uh, why, why do we have to have this conversation every holiday? Because <laughs> I keep hoping that you're going to change your mind. Holidays are so bad. They're so bad for the economy. The commercialism and everyone just all of it. I love my mom, and um, I think that the the I think it's important for my mom to know that I'm doing well. <laughs> that's a that's our Mother's Day gift, and I, that's how I feel about you know Father's Day. When I I just want to make sure my kids are doing well. That's ultimately all she wants us to know that you all right, my baby. All right, give us something to brag about. Yep. I sent my mom like two cards and a gift card and some jewelry. How much did you spend total? None of your business. Is that is that an odd question? <laughs> Not your business. Pennies on a dollar. I just, <laughs> that, I, that, I just sent I I because my mom did a great job and I just wanted her to feel special. Okay, it's so it's not about the dollar amount. Plus one hundred minus one hundred. Did you Facetime? Did you go see her? You Facetime? I couldn't go see her. My mom lives in Colorado. She lives right outside of Denver. No excuses. You know, I mean, that's not special. Then you sent her that a gift card. Special. You couldn't even think of a real gift. First of all, I always send her a gift, but it's very expensive to mail in the in through the you know the postal services. What are you talking about, Amazon? You can order anything on Amazon, anything. Yeah, but I like to go and pick it out. I just got her a gift card. Look, okay. You went and picked she, out the gift card. Got I you. got the gift card, and I sent her some jewelry okay. in there and two different cards because I couldn't jewelry. figure out which card. Was it some diamond jewelry or? I couldn't figure out which card fit. So I I got both because I got her like a sentimental one and then like a fun one. Mm. Yeah. Well, how about the jewelry? What kind of jewelry was it? Like a bracelet or something? No. What no, was it? It's just nice. Why are you being all coy? It doesn't matter. It's just oh between it's just her business, you know. It's her she business. just she she's thankful. I'm I'm sure. Yeah, my, I'm I mean sure. you know I just want her to feel special. They don't really want nothing. They just I don't know about that. Some moms again, do want something. I wanted something. What'd you get? I got. Is that a secret too, or can we talk about how much? You, <laughs> when it comes to her, we can talk I got about the money. Some stuff. Mm-hmm. My daughter put me like a whole bunch of things together, like a, a goodie bag of like facial stuff. We went to the movies. She bought my dinner. Mm. It was like a big bag of goodies. It was nice. Mm. Now my daughter has a job, so I actually get gifts. Okay. Ah, she so got spoiled. See, that's uh, that's what really. That's what's yeah. really going on. So how much did she spend? Oh my god, it's none of your business. Everything is not about money. <laughs> It's clear that gift card. Most of most things most things are about money. No. I mean, mm. All right, I have a question. If you are with a woman, I, I was in the grocery store the day before Mother's Day, right? This guy comes up to me, <laughs> and he tells he starts talking. He's not gonna stop. So I just was like, okay, I'll just go with the conversation. He tells me he has five kids, four baby moms, right? Right. So okay. I said to him, Wow, you must have sent out, you must have got a lot of cards, a lot of gifts. He was like, No, I didn't get anything. And I was like, Well, it's Mother's Day. Cause oh, oh now let me go back. He started by trying to hit on me by telling me that, um, ask me, did I have plans? Because he was looking for someone to take out on Mother's Day. Cool. So that just kind of, I got to add that into the story. So then I asked him, do he have kids? He said, yes, he has five. I asked how many mothers. He boldly told me the number four. And then I said, well, aren't you going to be doing something for them? He said, no, because they're not my mom. That's true. And he said that he would not do something. He said that he does not do anything for them on Mother's Day, and he doesn't expect them to do anything for him. He just wants to hear from his kids, not from them. Right. And that if he's dating a girl, that he would spoil her on Mother's Day. Mm. I thought that was kind of strange. No. Y'all don't think that's strange? Mm, It just sounds like he got a bad history with those women. You don't know what his life is like with them. Like, you don't know what they did to him. What they did to him? You don't know why they broke up. 
Well, considering that there are four of them, what that means sounds like the issue is him. So, because a man is being plentiful and and populating the earth with fruit, <laughs> you think something's wrong with him? He's yeah. doing his job. I talked to another guy who has thirty four kids. The oh, guy okay. that was on Ilyan Levanzant, he was on. He has. I'm going to show you. He has. He has thirty four children. Mm-hmm. I think like twenty eight baby moms. How many stepdaddies? No, they're all his. No, but he's saying how many stepdaddies are in their lives? Oh, probably 34. <laughs> probably, it's like probably 34 dozens. stepdaughters. Right. Yeah, that's too much. 34. Um, I'm he's, sure he's heard that before. That's you know, wild. what can he do? He's not, you know. So I'm, I'm assuming he's, does he have a nice job or does he not take care of them at all? No, um, I don't think that he's able, I don't know what job you would have, but he was on Ian Van Zandt. We're going to put this... We're going to put this on the screen so people can see it. That's Father, him? this is him. He thought that if you had sex at night that you would not, that the sperm would be asleep. Oh, yeah. And that you would not. Wait, what? <laughs> say, say that one more time. Kevin stood up in his seat. Because my yeah. face is always the one to read. I'm, <laughs> anybody else, anytime some silly shit gets said, I, I try not to respond, but my face does it. So... He said if you had sex at night He thought that having sex at night What time does sperm go to sleep? He said it sounds dumb But think about it They're little humans just like us They gotta sleep Wow Now I do believe though That the further you put it in the back The more likelihood you get a a boy (laughs) That's why I've had more boys P3 P3, P4 level Eh, That's plausible I believe that them shallow dudes. That's why you have one of the girls. Wow. If you got more girls. You said if you in the rim. <laughs> <laughs> I believe okay. that wholeheartedly, though. I think that's so, real. So, so you don't believe in men should do something for a woman unless they're dating her, not a woman that has their children, just someone that they're dating. Um, no, I, think, I, I, I don't see anything wrong if... if you're, if you're in a co-parent situation, mm-hmm. whatever, the, the two of you are no longer together, mm-hmm. but you want your mother, or excuse me, the mother of your child to yeah. be acknowledged, I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, a card or sending a gift, whatever. I don't A I text don't message. Happy a Mother's text Day. message? Yeah. Even that, if that's... She's not your hey. mother. It doesn't make any sense at so all. So the only people that we should be celebrating on Mother's Day is our mother or a girl that we're trying to bag. No, okay. No. So every mother that I every mother that I see, I say Happy Mother's Day to. Okay, same. So you would you think that he should have said it at least to the? Yeah, maybe. But I mean, that's not a. That's like saying that's like saying that you can only give your mom a gift, but you can't give one to your grandmother or your auntie. I think what he said was stupid as hell. I think that he should have said he should have got something for all those mothers. Because I said, are they good mothers? He said yes. He said. <laughs> <laughs> that his kids were square, they weren't street like him, so he was happy about that. That's something to be happy about. Hey, that for they're some doing people, a good that's job. An yeah, they're doing a good job, so you should acknowledge that. I, I, after you know my uh, my ex and I split, I still told him Happy Father's Day because he's my children. Told him father. how many gifts did you get him? I got him a card. I didn't mm. get a gift. I don't even like cards. I think cards are the most ridiculous waste of paper. Trees should live. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I, if you, if you know me and you get me a card, it's gonna get thrown away. I'll, I'll read it one time and I'll, I'm not gonna save it. See, I save. You, my you cards. save cards. You don't have like a little box. No. I, I do have like cards that people have given every me. Every single years. card or not just every certain single single one. Well, not everyone makes the makes not everybody puts thought into their card. My kids make me cards and I've thrown those away. Oh. What do you really think they care? Honestly. Yes. Dad, where's that card I made you when I was seven? They're- I have a card that my son made me when he was ten. It's the best thing in the whole world. I doubt it. It is. It you, is. You probably used to go to like school orchestras uh, <laughs> things that like used to enjoy Such the music. My brother ass. did. My brother used to make my mom cards and she would just yeah, melt and she saves them. And, uh, did she really melt or did she, was she a good he actress? Was, he was young and stupid so he wrote little cute shit in it. And, but was she a good actress or did she melt? Like, you know what I'm saying? She might have. No, she was gushing. She, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember one, one Mother's Day, I, I compiled probably like 150 photos and made that Apple photo book. Oh, now, nice. that's a gift that my mom would probably gush. She cried. But I expected that because that was it took a lot of work, a lot of effort. If I draw some fucking crayons on a <laughs> and make he a, was ten. I don't, he didn't so. have money and he didn't work. I but I, what I'm saying is that 
we still at, we end up in the same spot. No, oh my God. Anyway, moving on. So you don't guys. care about any of any of those children's gifts? No macaroni necklace, nothing. I mean, yeah, I, I laugh. Oh, this is very nice, but um, it's acting. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all acting. That's, that's ridiculous. Don't oh. if you if you know me and you and I have a birthday. Just just say happy birthday. That's hilarious. I'm glad I've always just done that. Yeah, you don't need to give. Me, I'm gonna throw <laughs> I'm your so, card away. I'm so a, glad I've always just cards done are that. cards are expensive now. Too. Here we go. They're, they're not dollar ninety five. And or, you know what? I will say this. I don't know why the hell like there's like ten dollar. Yes, Roger got a ten dollar card for his mom. I made him get it because when you opened it up, it played celebration. <laughs> yeah, it's it was cool to make her smile. Mm, nah, but yeah, but how long does it? What's the shelf life on that smile? I mean, what is the shelf life if, on any smile? If you're smile? a dick all year to your mom, and then on Mother's well, I don't Day, I don't know about that. I don't a, know about that. I don't know about that. But anyway. I'm just you saying, like, do nice things. I just think it's ridiculous that guys use Mother's Day as a, a way to hit on girls, like to take out other single moms. What? <laughs> when is there a bad time Any to hit on girls? Is <laughs> that, is that, the, no that is the purpose One of my for other us. Friends, he-, he was like, I just go in the single moms' DMs and I just send them all a virtual rose and tell them I'm thinking about them on Mother's Day. That would probably be the only rose you get. You better enjoy it. <laughs> Men are just, y'all are crazy. Whatever. Y'all Ma- do the same, please. You mean to tell me the dudes don't get it on Father's Day? They don't? I don't think that anyone is going in a father's DM like you sexy daddy you. Mm. Really? Have you got one of throwing, those? Women I throw it, yes. Women Women don't um, need a reason to throw pussy around. On Father's Day, though? What? On Daddy's Day. I, Zaddy's I'm, Day? Oh, I'm yeah. out. I'm, I'm, I'm checking I'm, out. I, somebody going to get a Zaddy's Day call. <laughs> you said, did you say z- Zaddy? Yeah. Wow. This somebody going to get a Zaddy's this Day call. Guy, I better yeah. get a goddamn Zaddy's <laughs> Day call. You did it with the accent. <laughs> wow. No, nah, I can't do What's that. What's the accent? difference in Zaddy and Daddy? I don't know. I'm asking because you you the one said this shit. Don't look at me crazy now. Z- I've been meaning to ask my wife that, but I've never had. So you tell I, I, me. I think I think Zaddy implies. You gotta do it like uh, you did it. Sit into no, it. it. What do you mean? Sit into get it. Get into it. Though. <laughs> you you, you ain't gotta it. get into it. You just gotta. Nah, son. What does it mean? Nah, I think I think Zaddy implies a sexual tension in the relationship. It's flirtatious. Would you agree with that? Flirtatious, yeah. Okay, uh, it makes no sense. Why the Z makes that happen, I don't know. But hey, hey, man. <sighs> <laughs> anyway. Kevin's our expert. Zaddy's day. It's the thing. Just like steak and blowjob day. But it's not daddy's day, it's father's, so it could it be Zother's day? I don't want to do that. Yeah, steak and blowjobs. I've heard that. Steak yeah, and blowjobs? Yeah, I've heard a lot of guys celebrating this national holiday. Mm-hmm. What day is that? I don't know. I don't know. So you're supposed March to March buy- 13th. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't celebrate. It's it. March so, 13th. So women are supposed to buy guys a steak. Set your calendar. You're supposed to prepare. You don't just oh, you buy, you're it. preparing the steak. Everybody cook a steak. Suck a dick. There you go. I never heard of that day either. Really? Yeah, I never heard of good that. Good for you. Man. I would have known that you had. I would have thought how you had. I, how did I not share the good news? <laughs> so uh, what happens if they Tidings don't do it? Tidings of good cheer. What? What happens if they don't do it? They just didn't celebrate. Got, can you get somebody else to do it? Is that like a rule? <laughs> no, there's no it's, such. It's, it's quote there's unquote. No such well, when you Google it, it, it comes up as it's like the man's version of Valentine's Day. Yeah, oh. it's like a little Irish guy, like doing like this, like steak and blowjob day. Yeah. Huh. I check into that. It was on Tell his... my wife about that. You may want to. I don't know how. Did we You're not welcome. have a show during that the week welcome. or something? We missed it. You so must have been something else going on. So what about the other 364 days? No steak, no blowjobs. <laughs> I mean, you can do it if you want. I don't know. Well, you're not required. As, as far as I can tell, <laughs> if Ladies you're enjoying are any of these holidays, just, you know, and you're black, you know, just try not to get the police called on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you outside, you look like you having fun, man. It's... I'm sure that's weighted. What? If that feels so weighted, that... how so? It just does, right? <laughs> yeah, that he's. It, well, that's, everybody is called an the... awkward segue. Because I'm saying everybody is getting the police called on them now. Like, everybody? like it's the thing to do. I swear to God, I'm like white people are calling police because Jeopardy is on. I don't no. think this is true. I think it's just. I think it's. It's there is a. There was a white lady that did. <laughs> Foolishly mm-hmm. call that was recorded. But I don't talking about that. the guy at the lake. Yeah, yeah, the, the barbecue, the barbecue. Yeah, yeah. And this is in Oakland. Yeah, but you can't call the police on the barbecue. That's a violation in itself. Well, they I that mean, was foolish, but that was that was not supposed that to use woman. charcoal there. No, no, she was calling because she <laughs> didn't like you the large number. You can't <laughs> use charcoal. Like you, you, it's you illegal. No gooders. <laughs> yeah. You know gooders. 
like barbecuing up jokes. <laughs> All you the chicken. That? Oh my god, that was like I cried when he did that. Dave Chappelle. Yes. Oh yeah. That's when I first no fell goodies. in love with him. He's yeah. like, what you you. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Get a recreation, Chris. Yeah. Oh, so but I'm saying, I'm saying, like, okay, so barbecuing. Um, what else have I heard recently? The Yale student that took a nap in the in the student lobby, a grad student, grad I didn't student hear about that took one. a nap. Yeah, she got the police called on oh, her. Oh yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, she was some. She was related to someone, correct? <laughs> I'm sure she was like no, I mean, she was related she... to someone famous. I can't think of it right now. I didn't know you were going to bring that up, but then there was, of course, the 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 um, Airbnb. Right. No, that person was Bob Marley's granddaughter. Yeah. Okay. So that's what. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what we're what we're saying here is that only black people get the police call them on them in weird circumstances. Is that what we're saying? I do think. Like, I I lived in an all white neighborhood, and I did think it was funny that whenever <laughs> I would have a black guy come over, my neighbors would just be peeking out. You don't think they peeked out when anybody came on the street? I don't think with the same intensity. How did they know he was black before they peeked? What? How did they know he was black before they peeked no, out? They watched, they watched the house, and then one lady was like, she, I just "She's not going to answer the question." No, I'm just saying they would see if someone got Image out the profiling. car. How yeah. would they know the person was black until they looked out? That's my question. Because he had no. a box Chevy. Did they feel it? <laughs> there was a bass music? No, they looked outside, and then when it was a black person, they continued to peer. <laughs> oh, goodness. They did. <laughs> they oh, no. Did. Oh, I've no. experienced that. I actually, yeah. I experienced that recently. Okay, tell us about it. Okay, so. Take us there. Right. So, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm driving home, and I'm literally, like, within... Maybe not inches, but I'm not. I'm on the same block as my house, mm -hmm. right? And like I've got a bunch of Hispanics that live near me. We've got white people that live near me. It's it's you know kind of a blended neighborhood, mm -hmm. right? Nonetheless, my car just kind of you, and I'm like, yo, what the hell's going on? Long mm -hmm. story. It was I needed an alternator. Oh, I was right? like your car kind of you. <laughs> yeah, you. I just lost power, and I was like, yo, what the hell going on? Right. Okay. So, right. Um, and, and and this is a narrow street, right? So I said, I looked around. I'm like, I can't just leave my car here. And I saw that there was a empty house. It still mm -hmm. had a, a a for sale sign in the yard, mm -hmm. right? And so I was like, hmm. Well, I can't leave my car here in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just back it into this driveway. Okay. My house is around the corner. I'll just grab my stuff, walk home, and, you know, I'll come get my car later. Mm -hmm. Right? So the neighbor next to that house mm -hmm. saw me mm -hmm. walking away from the house, called the police. Police came to the house, mm -hmm. saw my car, mm -hmm. looked it up. Oh, he's right here. Mm-hmm. So I got so I'm at home. I didn't kick my shoes off and I'm kind of chilling. Mm -hmm. And I get a knock at the door. Mm -hmm. And there's literally like a dozen police officers <laughs> outside. <laughs> like no shit. My mm -hmm. girl's like, "Yo, what the hell's going on? What what did you do?" I'm like, "I didn't do nothing." I'm, <laughs> she I, thought I came it home. was going down. Me, Yo, it could have been on, going let, down. Let me look at you. <laughs> I don't see any bullet bullet holes. I survived. Okay, so they, did he put you on the ground? Luckily, so no, no. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get roughed up. Oh, you did I didn't get roughed up. What? They were Pe black people. Don't get roughed up every time. They don't. No. Shock shit out of me too. Man, IG will have you believe in the ground. Okay, okay. So continue with the story because I get arrested. I no, I didn't get arrested. Did you get accosted? I did. Have did anybody to... fondle anything? Something happened. Fondle? I'm just saying, did what? something degrading happen? Did the kids have to witness something bad happening well, to you? No, it was well, it was embarrassing as shit because all my neighbors is saw, saw like five SWAT or six cruisers outside, out there. Right? They're like, "Yo, what the hell's going on?" Right? And I had to go. I had to explain, you know, what happened. Mm -hmm. They did a full investigation, took my picture and all of this, right? Mm -hmm. And I talked to the owner of the home. Well, no one, I didn't know. I said, "Yeah, well, you wasn't supposed to know because it just happened, you know, a few minutes ago." But yeah, I'll get my car in the morning. I just you know, it wouldn't move, so I had to stash it somewhere. Hmm. Your house is right here. Oh, okay, no problem. But, but the neighbor, for whatever reason, thought it was an, an issue. Yeah, because well, they, they suspected yeah, they got, that I might have broken into the empty home. Well, you didn't hmm. know that. Where'd you get that from? See? The officer. 
First of all, he don't know that that's what the guy said. That, 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 how are you, you going to tell me what the officer told you? He's me? trying to justify why he's bothering you right now. Yeah, he might have just said that. I'm not saying it's true. But they possibly, can't tell okay. you that either. They yeah. can't tell you what. They can't even tell you who called the police. Yeah, on that's you. not fair. They cannot tell you what was said. But um, what I'm saying is if you're selling a house, right? If, you're, if you have a house that's up for sale and it's vacant, I would be happy if my neighbors looked out because you don't want a random car in your driveway. Let me tell if you're you what happens. Your car. Let me tell you what happens to houses that are for sale. Air conditioning units get stolen. Plumbing gets stolen. Light fixtures, yeah. ceiling fans, doors, uh, islands. My island was taken before we bought this house. The, the fucking island. <laughs> How do you Somebody leave a hole in the floor? Wood. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I, the, all the cabinets. I had to rebuild all yeah, those the cabinets. Cabinets are getting out of there. All of that gone. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. that's why it's a big deal because well, people do break into houses. Something with a car, but with a random there, car in a driveway, like it yeah, wouldn't there have to work. have been some signs of entry? Well, but that's not the point. That's, the point is, it doesn't look normal. Tell that, though. It doesn't look yeah. normal. What I was going to say no, about but they called the owner, like he had to come over there. I've been. I've Police been, were there. They could have easily said, "Okay, there's nothing wrong." But with still, the house. why? Would, I'm, I'm just saying, as an owner, if you're selling your house, mm-hmm. say you're selling your house, you have a house in Marietta that you're selling, and you move to. Alpharetta. Now you're trying to sell the house. Somebody parked their car. A that, broke down car. A broke down car. And you're dr- <laughs> you don't want that. That's not yeah. a good look. You're like, I'm trying to sell my house. I don't want somebody driving by. Like, <laughs> as you <laughs> in my yard. I want to know. You. <laughs> as you know, the look of the house is curb everything. Appeal. Right, right. Curb appeal. That's what I was looking for. Curb Thank appeal. you. You're welcome. Curb appeal is everything. Mm. And I would be. And especially one that it's not yours. You so know how I mean? much so, curb appeal are you going to have at like 10, 11? But I don't know how long you're going to leave it. I have no idea. You, you walk, you're walking they away. They don't know. They don't know. And that's, that's, that's a good point. It, we cannot assume everything is racial. That person might have just been, they might have known that person who owned the house and been like, hey, there's a, there's a black guy that left a car in their driveway. That's not My theirs. across the street neighbor, well, not the neighbor, the guy who owned the house. He bought the house. He remodeled it, re- renovated it. I used to call him all the time because people would be there. I was like, hey, man, you got some guys in the, in the yard. Oh, yeah, they're, they're working on the back. Yeah. So that's why they're around back. I would call because that's what you do. For one thing, See, that lowers good. my property value I think, if they I think, mess it exactly. up. But I think that's being a good neighbor. You right. call the owner. The owner, right. right. I wouldn't call the police. Matter of fact, because I didn't even share this part of it. When I, was, when I parked the car, mm-hmm. right, gathered my stuff, and started walking home, right, I saw the neighbor, mm-hmm. actually it was like three or four people in the window, mm-hmm. right? They had a big picture window, but there are three or four people in the window. I saw them, they saw me, I waved and acknowledged them. Mm-hmm. Hello, you know black folks, when we see you looking too long, we like, right. Mm-hmm. what's up, right? <clears throat> Curtain shut, quick as hell, no. right? Oh- <laughs> <laughs> you make the little it, sound. It's not that it wasn't. It's, it's not that I'm saying that it wasn't raised. And your neighborhood is actually different because it seems like a neighborhood. They're they're through streets and ways to get through there. So it's not like it's just in the back somewhere. Whereas Crystal, you said the same thing happened to you. But your neighborhood, if if, if it's the same neighborhood I'm familiar mm-hmm. with, was a, a cul de sac. It was a cul de sac. So yeah. absolutely, people are gonna look out. I yeah. would look out if somebody yeah. was in in the cul de sac just. Coming to visit somebody, yeah. I would peek out and see what's going on. I, would I got that. constant, but I but I did. I well, uh, and there were a few other things. I definitely think a lot of it was race because all my neighbors were white and all my neighbors were older. So, so it was I had race. really like <laughs> <laughs> I come home at different times of night because of what I do, and they were just like, "What is?" She? You know, they probably just thought stri- I was like stripping, <laughs> <laughs> like, lady of the night, this lady of the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but whenever there would be so one of my oh, you know what? And this that's that's funny because in that neighborhood, one of the ladies called the um. So my house was right here. It's another house next to us that had a white couple and three kids. Right. So there was a someone was stealing cable. There was like a cable line that went out. Someone was stealing cable. So. The white lady on the other side called the cable company and said that I was stealing cable, right? So I'm so the cable company comes. Because if somebody's stealing cable, clearly it's the black. It's one. me. It's the single mom. It's the black single mom mm-hmm. stealing comes the cable. Comes on all hours. Yeah, of the night. comes home. All, she, I have a horrible mm-hmm. reputation with the neighbors. So I believe it. You're dishonest. So cable cable company comes and accuses me of stealing cable. So I show them. I was like, first of all, this is not going to my house. It was going to the house right next door to me. I was livid, you know? So the guy apologized. He said, well, one of the neighbors told us that this is where it was coming from. It was like a really obvious, first of all, if black people are stealing cable, we don't, 
Oh no, you we do it for just, real. Yeah, we don't just have a long. That shit looks cord. professional. It's going. I mean, it was like <laughs> going to the. It was long as hell. It was going out like I would never. If I was gonna do it, I would have done it right. I would have had, you know, Leroy come give me the pad. You know what I mean? You don't just have a long cable that goes to your house. I didn't know you knew so much about stealing cable. Right. I'm just saying. So then, <laughs> so after, so listen to the story. So, so the 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 neighbors next to me, the the the. Thieves. The Mormon-looking couple with the three kids that come home, that have the minivans, they were stealing the cable, mm-hmm. right? So the cable company apologized to me. They apologized. The lady on the other side, she would never speak to me. She goes out and walks every day. She looks away. One day, I come out early in the morning. I'm leaving to go to work. She has fallen and she cannot get up. Her face is bloody and she's laying in the street right by my house. So I go out. And I see her. Now, not only has she called the cable company that I was selling cable, but she's called the pound on my dog. Like, she's just that racist white woman that doesn't like us in the neighborhood. Mm. So she's laying on the ground. Her face is all bloody. And she, her phone obviously has fallen, has crossed the way. Man, so that's karma for your ass. I went over. I helped her up. And you could tell she was just so, like, disgusted that, you had to help that her? That I had to help her, yet so thankful and surprised that I would. Because I didn't say one word. I helped her up, and I got her phone. I walked her to her door, and I asked her, was she okay? Could I, you know, do, do, do you need me to take you in? So she was like, no, she was, she good. And she looked, she said, thank you. And I said, I would never want someone to leave my mother or grandmother there. And I left. And every, you know, so the next time I see her, she would wave. But I really felt like she was hateful, like a witch. <laughs> and and after that, you could tell she would speak. You could tell it was hard for her, but she, I had been kind to her in the face of where I could have just backed my car out and left her ass just, like, the kick I would have peeled rubber. <laughs> no. I would have helped her. No, I would have helped her, but I would have been giggling like the whole time. No, I just, because it was such a, it was such a weird moment. You know right. what I mean? It was such a, because we had lived there for like five years and she had been hateful all of that. I told the kids just, you know, walk around her property, don't go on her property. And the look on her face when I helped her was right. like, I'll Humble never forget pie. that. Yeah, I'll never forget oh. that. So, but okay, what I got to do with this white lady at the barbecue? What does that have to do with yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, because you brought this up first. <laughs> I, I, I saw that I saw that video differently than a lot of people, I guess. Uh-oh. What do you mean? I just saw the Tell video differently. Tell me more. I, I saw... Give us the white perspective. No, 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 no. <laughs> I saw a very challenged woman... Is She's what I saw. Challenged. No, she seemed very challenged. Like you know how some people had don't have reality. Like because you know the internet, people of the internet, they they found her and they said she's a, like a doctor at Stanford. Doctor. Yeah. She didn't seem a little challenged to you. Not, she's not challenged. How? She seemed not, afraid. Not, not challenged like duh, duh, not like that. But I'm saying a challenge like anxiety, like reality. Yeah, like reality and her aren't. Like they're not They don't see eye to eye A lot of times um, That's she a lot of She seemed to like She was uncomfortable Being around that many I don't see I, I don't know that either And and okay So the, what, there was a white woman Filming too right Yeah How do we So I So and the, and when the, we're calling A group of people White ladies at a barbecue When we're saying Something like that And then there's a white lady Who's actually filming it And is willing to go The extra mile We didn't say white ladies At a barbecue Nope Kevin said that Black people were getting called The police were getting Called them for everything and this is an example of how white people are calling the police on black people for anything. For right. barbecuing, right. being at an Airbnb, taking a nap at, at Yale. Going to Starbucks, well, not ordering. I was actually combining what he said in with what the internet was saying about this entire situation. Okay. I just felt like it's, you know, here we go with that again. Like, it's white people are doing this. White people, are all, white people, period, are doing this. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I think that there are some situations where white people get the police call to them as well. I agree. This, this particular situation, though, a white person is who filmed the entire yeah. ordeal. Yeah, there are a lot of woke white people. Well, yeah. But I don't know if that's even woke. She was, it was just, it was, that woman had an issue with reality. I don't know she if it was- She was racist. A, why? Why was she racist? Well, I think racism is it's a it's it's a discomfort to me. There's levels of racism, right? Not everybody is a KKK member or sitting on their porch, you know, waiting for for Negroes to shoot. Right. I think that some people you can be racist if you're just uncomfortable being around people of another. So being scared is being racist. 
being scared simply because of a person's skin color is racist. That is not racist. I think it is racist. You don't control mm. fear. If you're scared simply mm. because you look, it's a but racism is an attitude. It's not a it's not a verb. I understand, it's but when we're talking but about but, fear. But if your fear is based in preconceived notions yeah. that are non factual, that's, that's not completely racism. racist. That is not racism. What it, is racism to you? It, hold on, let's let's stay, let's stay there before we move any further. Her being afraid. I'm not even saying that's what what it was. Y'all are saying that. I don't know what it was. She and seemed, she didn't say she was afraid. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So to, if she she's, if she's so if she's so afraid. damn afraid and so racist, then she would not be standing there for two hours waiting for the cops to come. The cops obviously had no interest in this situation <laughs> because she had she was there so damn long. She plugged in her power bank into her phone <laughs> which, and had which, a had a charger while she was sitting on hold. That should have been a dog whistle to her because <laughs> if the police have, have taken an hour to let alone two hours. The, but they've taken an hour to respond. The police come quicker for black people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Police yeah, come in the hood. I'm sure somebody's like, hey, look, I'm not going over there to deal with this. You deal with this. No, I ain't Did you see when the dude did. pulled up? The dude mm-hmm. put, he was, his body language was totally like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, like, why the fuck He was am like, I, I don't want to be on video. I know where this is going. And again, right. see, here we go. We, we're not calling out everything. So there was a white lady recording. The white officer come. <clears throat> he ain't hit nobody with a billy club. He ain't shut <laughs> nothing down. He looked at the lady like she was retarded. But what I'm saying is, is I think she was challenged. Not necessarily in a, in a way that... So, she, oh, wait, wait. Are we claiming mental illness on this? Absolutely. Did you see Bullshit. how... Bullshit! Did no, you see how that lady no, acted? I'm not doing that. I'm not no. doing that. Did you see how that lady that. acted? I'm not doing that. Now, now, I Because I believe that mental illness is a big problem but I feel like if you are that adamant first of all you're that adamant that someone the police should be called and people are just barbecuing but they're using charcoal that is definitely to me a sign of I don't believe she would have done that if it was a group of white boys out there she would not have you been, don't know that she, though no, she, and you, don't, you don't know y'all are both speculating she inserted herself right. as the hall monitor okay or park ranger and have, and okay whatever. remember school particular... you remember school you remember that person who was that hall monitor you're like something wrong with this motherfucker and you know you did You everybody looked, laughed at that person because like the even the monitor? white people no the, he knows what I'm talking about the person he's talking about the lame ass Hall exactly. People laughed at that person were you a because they were. She definitely was. She was a crossing guard. She was a crossing guard. I never yeah. laughed at the hall monitor. Though. Well, we did. Me and Kevin did. Mm. We, the person who was willing to tell on everybody for every, we did tell them. We laughed at that person. They were out of touch with reality. That to me felt like a mental illness. I'm not saying that she's but that person is always trying to kiss up to authority. That didn't mean that didn't the mean the hall that monitor was their all I'm saying is all I'm saying is the only reason you guys are saying is is, is racist is because the people who are barbecue are black and she's white. And that's what happens all the time. We just jump into racism when there could have been a million other things that were the reason why this happened. She might have she might have been barbecuing with charcoal two years earlier and ended up getting arrested and now she's got a, a, vin, a vendetta against charcoal. I don't know, but neither do you, do you guys. How well, stupid I, I'm, that sounds. Exactly. I'm, 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 I'm telling you like a person this. to wait some two things, hours. Ma- some things may not be racist, but when there is a black victim <laughs> and a, a, a white defendant, then that's really lazy. That's I don't lazy. Think, I don't agree no, with that. No, it's staring you in the face. It's not though. I'm staring she waited. You in the face. Listen, a person who's if, willing to if wait the two hours. Circumstances prove like the woman in Walmart and not in Walmart. Um, um, no, let's stay, House. let's stay there. Let's stay there. See, let's, we keep trying to add in these other things. Let's talk about this specific situation. Mm-hmm. She waited two hours on the cops. You're <laughs> telling me that's not a little cuckoo? That's a little cool. Most racists are like, fuck this shit. I, can't, I got shit to do with my Saturday. A person who's willing to wait two hours. Somebody who's with somebody, dedic- They with had somebody the camera in her face like this. Dude, they, there was a point and, and was, where I thought they were resting faking. the camera on her shoulder like this. Like if the angle was like, right? You know what I'm saying? They were, they were like this on her. And so I commend the white lady who was filming. She was definitely a personal space invader. And we salute <laughs> she you. was. Right. That's what I'm saying. There has to be something wrong with this woman too. I'm not saying she might not have been a little prejudiced. I'm not saying that that's not the case. There's no but evidence. She had two hours to spend on racism that day. Really? You think that racists are that into <laughs> that was racism? A good one. That she was a good is. One. I do think it. I, I think don't so. think so. Because of the way she was so adamant, they're around me. They're surrounding no, me. No, because she uh, did that when that lady uh, followed uh, her to a quick a racist, stop or whatever. When, right? when a racist person sees someone of color, I really mm-hmm. want to say black, but someone of color right. who is doing whatever it is they're doing. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> racism <laughs> says that I have to make that person Bullshit. uncomfortable. Bullshit. That is not what racism that, says. Race at the least. You don't. Says that you I have don't. You don't even. You don't even, you don't even know any racist. That's the funny That's part. That's not true. Y'all don't even know any That's real not true. man. Y'all. I just told you about the little lady that yeah, I went next door but, to. But okay? you and her never had a conversation. I, no, I do know racist. Okay. I do know racist. Well, I forgot you're from Oklahoma, Ohio. 
I do know racists. Right. And I've talked to people. Actually, I <laughs> well, did God go. damn it, Crystal, tell us about I it. I did go to the University of Oklahoma where there were a lot of white students uh-huh. that had never seen a black person That's not racist. In their life. Not ever no, seen a black person. I didn't person say that okay. they were racist. I was just I was stopping it for you out pre- there. Con- a lot of them had preconceived ideas. That's not racism. Of what black people were and did not like. And, and Everyone say, has preconceived. That's not racism. It's still racist. It isn't racist. You have it notions about racist. white people. You what? have them. You've been told your whole life white people hate black people. that he could be racist too. That he could be racist so as I don't well. Treat, I don't treat white people different based on the shit that I've heard. I but give you know each what? one yes, a you do. To yes, you themselves. do. No, you don't. My grandfather got- used to say that white people were the devil. Exactly. White people were crazy. That's racist. You were indoctrinated. That's, no, that, that, because my grandmother didn't feel like that. But I'm just saying, it, it can be racist on either side. Okay. It can be racist on either side. But I do think that it comes from a, a, a feeling of discomfort because a lot of times when you hate someone, it's just because you don't understand them or because they're not familiar to you. I so would, the basis of hate is not just, oh, I just want them dead. It's hate like, is not I racism. Don't understand hate is, I, hate but, racism but are the racism same. Racism causes hate crimes. Yes, sometimes. Okay. Racism and hate do hang out a lot. Racism does not mean I'm going to fuck up every black person I That's see. That's not what I'm saying, but racism does say when I see those black guys, ooh, those are pro- they're probably criminals. I'm stereotyping I see black them. guys like they're probably criminals, and so do you. Stop lying if you say you don't. I'm not saying You've that never I... seen a group of black dudes like, no, man. No, of course I have. Exactly. Of course I have. Are you we, racist? We all make... At that situation, and funny because my son Come says, on, "Mom, man. you're racist." That's that's being racist. Kevin, have you ever been around a, a situation like, "Oh, these dudes are like criminals and they are black"? Have you ever have you ever had that situation in your life? But are you making yeah. that decision based solely on their skin I've also, color? Yes. I've also seen a group of white. <laughs> no, 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 not, no, no, not, not solely. I've also seen a group of white people say, "You know what? I should probably get out of here." Right. I don't think their racists think the way that you do. I don't think their racists say, oh, you know what? Just because they're black, they're going to be criminals. They still also look at it. That lady, if she thought that black people, if she was racist and thought black people are all killers, she was not standing there for two hours. So that idea that, oh, because they're black, that's why I'm doing all this, there was something else involved in it. It wasn't just because that. they I were black. Right. So she was, she's that committed to, to charcoal. You got to be really she's, committed. She's dedicated. You have to be. She dedicated two hours of her day to. The pursuit of charcoal You have to be a grandmaster Of the KKK To stay for two hours No not necessarily Man regular regular. You don't have to be A cross burner You just gotta be A boring lonely bitch With nothing to do But that's that's what I'm saying It's not racism She's just weird It's about the fact That I'm I'm committed To what I said It's not even about It's the principle Behind the fact She called the police She wanted someone She felt entitled To someone coming to her to, to listen to her issue that right. that carried her through, and but that's not racism. Yeah, but that's crazy. But that's something that a lot of racist white people do. They think that because you are black, mm-hmm. that if I ask you a question, hey, what are you doing over you're, there? You're, you're, you have to answer. You're injecting me. You a lot have of to shit. Smile. You're you have to. A lot of shit. No, these are these are part of what is happening in the culture really? right now. The, that's the sound for he, this. He's injecting, injecting a lot of shit into this. Was it? A, you don't, Was it a spray or a syringe? No, it's a syringe, but it's like a big fat one with the the open hole. So it's like you like like squirting in the mouth. But look though, so here's the thing. (laughs) Here's, Here's the thing. Everything that you guys are saying, I'm not saying is incorrect, but I'm saying you're just making this shit up. You don't know any of this stuff. You're assuming. You're speculating. You're injecting. You don't. Where am I pulling it from? Your mind, preconceived notions of, of, of white people who are racist. Preconceived, no, preconceived that, notions or previous experiences. You can't use you that can't, though. That's not why fair. Why can't I use my own experiences? That's not fair. I use my own experiences every day. That's life. what white people are doing. No, they're not. not yes, they're bullshit. No, you don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop for a second. Tell me you've never seen a situation where a black person bullies the fuck out of a white person have, and probably course. changes the trajectory of their life with black people for yeah, the rest absolutely. of their life. You've seen that. So don't tell me you don't know what that you don't know what that woman's been through. So you can't tell me that it's okay and it's fair for you to use your history and your experiences and your preconceived notions, but it's not okay for her to do it. So what preconceived notions were she had where she had to go in and, and call the police? I don't know, but let's barbecue. just I'm gonna make up a hypo- hypothetical because I don't know what happened. Okay. Let's say she walked over. And said, "Hey guys, you know you're not supposed to be using charcoal See, barbecue." That's, that's no, offensive. that's how she sounded. That's hey guys, you're, you're not supposed voice. to be because that's what she is. Me, she's a <laughs> fucking weirdo. She's not a racist. She's like, "Hey boy, stop using that guy." A that's, racist have that. Talk. That's that's a racist voice. No, she didn't have was, a racist voice at all. Her voice was so man. far from racist. She that's was like, "Hold on, the deep south." Hypothetical. That, hypothetical. Right, like, hold on, hold on. That was Yosemite Sam. Hi, hypothetical. She went over. She's like, "Hey guys, you can't use charcoal in this park. It's illegal." And they're like, "Bitch, get your mother." 
fucking ass out here before we fuck you up. Hypothetical. And so now she's like, okay, well now I'm calling the police. And it was a, it was a like she, like Crystal just said, she was proving a point at that point. Mm-hmm. At that, at, at once that happened, she was proving a point. And then the video came out. The white lady, oh, this is wrong. This is racism. And man, white lady, put your camera away. That crazy ass white woman needs help. She needs to be escorted the fuck off the plantation or whatever it is she's on and go back. Interesting, interesting choice of words. I used it for you. I, <laughs> Y'all wanted to be racist so bad. I don't know. I don't, I don't think everything I don't know is that racist. it's not. I don't, I don't think know that, that it's not. what happened to Kevin and his neighborhood was necessarily racist, but I do That think was more racist than this barbecue thing. I, to me, it was. I do think that when someone- He assume, waved at them. He tried to be friendly. They shut the covers, the, the, the curtains in for like, fuck this nigger. <laughs> God, I think that when right. someone assumes it hurt, right? <laughs> Shit, they said nigga at least in in my in my story they did. They yeah, might have said that's not how they say it. Though. How do they say it? See, I preconceived notion. It. Like no you, bitters. <laughs> you got this idea. Mm, no, 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 no. You got this idea of white racism in your head, and it's like, oh, I can I can plug any of this into that. Oh my god, no, that's not. True. I don't mm. think that's true. I, I'm definitely Plugging. not an extremist. Where do, you, where, not, do you, where do you find the gall to really like separate hate and racism, though? There's a where big is, difference between hate and racism. You 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 tell me you there's don't. a difference between hate and racism. There is, but I do think that. I think that you can't. Way to shut me down, Crystal. But it's a different kind of hate. Like it's no, I'm just saying that hate is hate. It's, it it is. But I don't think all racism is hate, though. I think that some of it is just when you've been taught that this is bad, you don't know any different. You know what I mean? I don't think that. I don't think it all comes from a place of wanting to hurt someone. I think that there are people that have been like, for instance, the guy. I'm gonna sound really like a country hick, but that's not what I am, guys. Okay, I'm very. I'm I'm not that, but any kind of insecure about it. So go I'm ahead. I'm just saying he keeps calling me from Oklahoma, but um, <laughs> so the place where I keep my horse, right? The guy there, 75 years old. Let's just start with horse. <laughs> keep he going. has an 83 year old girlfriend. She's never been around black people. She's very uncomfortable around black people, and so I don't I blame by tell, black people. You mean you? Me and the other black people that are there. There's two okay. other people that are black that have their horses there. So she was very, like, you can just tell she doesn't feel comfortable with us around. She doesn't really want us around. So he said, you know, guys, I don't think that she's racist. She just hasn't been around. She's not used to being around black people. Okay. But she always assumes that. How did she impede your progress? What? She, I'm, no, 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 I, racism there. is not a, always about impeding uh, my I'm, progress. I'm, I, that's because one example. No, that's racism she, is impeding progress. Yes, racist if, is an attitude or an exactly. action. Exactly. I don't give a fuck if somebody's Kevin. racist. Thank you. We are all I mean, racist. No, all of us. Right. You, my, you, honest, and myself. My point is this: Man. if I go to, if she's, if she owns a company, and I go for a job because she feels discomfort and uh, and she's not comfortable, she's not going to hire me. Fuck you! Get another job. <laughs> you can't, can't work here. You're not trying. You're I'm not. Even I'm, trying. Not, I'm, I'm not, not caring. That's a stupid complaint. If she owns a company, I can't get a job at her. Why the fuck would you want to work for a racist? You want to? You want to make the government force her to, to hire you? Because for a long time, that's that was the majority of jobs. Right. From people that were racist So I guess we nah, should just Actually I, I read some statistics I'm going to bring them next time Jim, During Jim Crow Yeah bring them During Jim Crow Black people actually grew their, They developed more in the workforce Than they are even today So I, I'll show you we'll They weren't They weren't necessarily No, no you're, you're actually You're actually correct A yeah. lot uh, When we were on our own And we got to do our own thing We did blossom That's how Black Wall I'm Street I'm not lying In, in Oklahoma in Tulsa, but realize that's that how that, there were other that parts of the country be. besides just Tulsa. No, no, no that I were understand. Not and I'm not saying right. that they were they were the best jobs, but the thing about it was is there was employment for black people. Period. Yeah, and when there we was upward, each other. there was upward mobility in that time period. This but is it was during such a Jim small Crow. Segmented amount of people that were enjoying that. And that's was, not true. But here's, that's, here's that's, also, that's a not but true statement. also what happened. Although we thrived in some way in some areas, right during Jim Crow, what also happened is that. When we got too quote unquote big for our britches, right? Or you would start to hear those shut terms, it down. uppity nigger, right? You shut would it shut down. it down. Yeah. They burned Black Wall Street, right? They no, bombed it, no doubt. Like literally bombed it. No We're doubt. aware of the history, so no you know, there's that. Okay. On another note, <laughs> you're done that quick. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. You're question. Down? Question. I I interviewed the the couple. From TV's Couples Court with the Cutlers, right? <laughs> Cup, couples That's Court with the Cutlers. Yes. They come on the CW. 
Right. Monday okay. through Friday. Mm-hmm. And basically, it's a, a, a lawyer, two judges that are, well, there are judges on television, but they're really lawyers that um, have couples come before them that have, there's an issue of infidelity and they kind of weigh the facts and, and give their verdicts on if the person and should. And they're a couple, so and it's they're two a real judges. couple. They're two judges. And they actually okay. went to Morehouse and Spelman. It's a really cute. Oh, so that's the shtick. It's the shtick. Well, it's not even the shtick. It's they're, like they're really those people. Like they came in, I, I was like, they're really that they they've worked together their entire life. They got Gross. married. And, <laughs> anyway, a lot of people couldn't work with their spouse. I said that Let to them. I was like, "That's so weird that you guys are there other. like all the Who's time." Who's the boss? She's the boss, huh? <laughs> I can't stand you. For them to work together, they work all together the, she's immediately the immediately when they Did graduated. Did one of those corny ass? You got to keep her happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, immediately when they graduated, Man. they went to work for the same. They went to work for the same law law agency, okay. Okay. which was her father's agency. Then she went away. Then she came back. Anyway, they're a great couple. Check them out. Couples court with the colors, but we had a conversation about prenups, right? Because mm-hmm. I have a good friend that suggests to me all the time that everybody needs a prenup, no matter how much or how little you have. But especially, of course, we talk about celebrities, and you know, you see these huge cases where people are fighting over large amounts of money. But actually, Dana um, Cutler, she said, well, actually it's more important for people that don't have money to have a prenup because if you only have $10, you want to make sure that you leave your marriage with that 10 and not with five. I have a question. Yes. Okay. So I think that, and I could be wrong. So I, I think it's a misconception that people believe that prenups protect whatever money you have at the end. Actually, prenup only covers you for what you had at the beginning of the marriage. And that's that what correct? she was saying. She So she was saying if you come in and you all have not done anything together, right. right? But you've had this money while you all are together. If there is nothing in place, that woman could be privy to what you had while you all were together. But no, no. If, you're, if it's clear... I had this before I met you that it just it gives you boundaries. No, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, let's say I come into it with 10 million, you come out into it with 10 million. Yes. Together we make an additional 70 million. Okay. Right? So that 70 million is is up for grabs, but mm-hmm. if we have a prenup, that 10 million that I had in the beginning is not even touchable. Right. So it doesn't protect me after our marriage. No. It protects me from what I brought in. Yes. Okay. But it also protects you from if if I have say I have a company, you have a company, right? And my company is worth two million when we get married, but then it ends up being worth ten million. My prenup can can keep you from being able to have access to what I've earned on that entity that I had before I got married. That's no while good. we're it is great. Shout out Kevin Federline and Mary mm-hmm. J. Blige, dude. You're such an ass. Can I say that? You're such an ass. You can. You can yeah. say whatever you want to say. <laughs> I don't understand why two broke people need a prenup. I mean, you could be broker. I I know people who are broker. No, nah, if you had $10. Nah, was... If you broke her, then you're not really broke. <laughs> yeah, you wasn't broke. No, nah, there's levels of broke. There's levels of broke. After and, and, and I'm surprised you would say that, Kevin, because there's a lot of guys that are around this age. I know you guys stand up for guys that have gone through a divorce. And they are paying child support and alimony, and they are living with another person. But that doesn't protect them. That, 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 might, that might be true, alimony but ain't nobody does. in the one percent. Like it, it's not really changing your. But it, you know what? If you have to pay child support and alimony, that may hurt worse than just child support. Hey, it's cheaper to keep it too. She got to just disappear her. Whatever. So do you guys think that prenups are definitely needed? I think it's cheaper to keep her. I don't. I don't know that. Do you know how it would be in a miserable marriage is like. I don't know. No, but no. I don't know. I, uh, you have to get out. How about being miserable? I don't know what I'm type. I'm just of, saying, if you're miserable in a relationship, you 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 can't just be like a cheaper keeper. It will, like, peace of mind is 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 more valuable than anything. Hmm. Mm. I don't know that I have enough game to get a a, a woman to agree to a prenup with my regular ass. That is that are very honest, and I appreciate that honesty. <laughs> you can't sell it. You You'd have to have a it. lot of game to push that one. Like, nigga, you ain't got nothing. The fuck I'm gonna take? She said both people should have one. Yeah, but honestly, how do you right. present that? Hold on, hold on. How much does it cost to <laughs> the legal do, fees? Right. right. How much? How much would it cost to do a prenup? Well, the thing about it is, you can have an agreement. Because a lot of people you can are write up an agreement and sign it. Divorce. You can write up an agreement and have a notary and sign it and 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 create your own. You don't have to go sit down with a you know expensive lawyer to draft. I want my shit to be ironclad. I want my fifteen dollars protected. Because you know, there's a lot of prenups that have like <laughs> that have that have clauses in there. Like if you know, 
per cheat kid. Or, oh. You know, if for each kid she gets more money or if she cheats or something like that happens, there's rewards for Man, different things. And, I think, and, I think and, people need to quit pretending they're celebrities. You don't think anybody needs a prenup? What about celebrities, though? Uh, hell, half the celebrities is broke, too. Yeah, that's true. That's the funny thing about it all is that a lot of people are just claiming they got money. But there are some people that have money, but I don't know. I think because there are a lot of people that have small businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, I know a lady in this situation. She ended up paying her ex-husband. She had a small business. Mm -hmm. Well, her business was, you know, was making half a million dollars a year, but it's still considered a small business. And doing medical uh, billing, right? Mm -hmm. And she was married. And when she, she did the company herself, she actually ended up hiring the husband because he couldn't find a job. Right, so she gave him a job working for her. Then she told him he, he he couldn't do that right, so she fired him, and he couldn't find a job. They ended up getting divorced. He got half of the company because they didn't have a prenup, you know, in place. So I think for situations like that, if you are and and so as a result of that, giving him half, she had to give him a payoff, so to pay him to buy him out, and that put her in a very you know financial. Uh, a really precarious financial situation. So I do think with business business owners, it does make sense to have a prenuptial agreement because if you start a business and then the girl that you're with, she didn't start it with you, you started it, but you guys enjoy that business, that business grows or doesn't, she could claim half of that. She deserves business. half of it though, because she would, wasn't there when you started. When it, you though. started it, but she was there when you were built it. That's if she actually helped. In this situation, the guy was not helpful. But helpful if, is if you, helpful well, you just picked the wrong person. Then no, but, but yeah, on, help, I mean a lot help, of people do. Helpful means a lot of things. <laughs> well, if you with somebody that's not helpful to your family or your business or whatever you got going on, and that's not the right. But person. what I'm saying is, helpful is, uh, means a lot of things. And then I guess nobody should get divorced if we all pick the right person. Then nobody would get divorced. That's not what I'm saying. Well, ideally, it's cheaper. That isn't what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that if I'm with someone mm -hmm. and she had a business when we, when we got to, when we got together, mm -hmm. and then throughout our marriage, I was supportive of her. Period. Right. If I if I was supportive of her, that's supporting the business. You think you deserve half of the business? I'm saying that if her business was if she was in one tax bracket when we got married, mm -hmm. and by the end of our marriage she was in another tax bracket, I have something to do with that. I kept her, you know, her. You deserve mind half right. of that business. Why not? We built it together. That's I was our family. And you family. feel the same way if it was the other way yes. around. If if I was in one tax bracket when I got there, and I was in another one when I left. You see so what I'm you would need to put a clause in there. Then that's a, well, that's a prenup with a clause that says if you make this amount more, then I deserve but, half. But that's what I was saying. I'm only okay with whatever I had before I came into the marriage. Mm -hmm. That is what the prenup covers. That's a, if you're with me, then you're gonna have to support me because I'm gonna be requiring a lot of you. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, my wife. That's that's being with me when I was shooting in the gym. That's what that is. That's what I'm saying. My wife, I, my wife does a lot it for was a Drake song. My oh, wife, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. my wife does a lot for my podcast network. <laughs> my wife does a lot for this show. You guys benefit from my wife supporting us. So how dare I then? Once you know, what I'm saying the the podcasts all mm -hmm. blow up, and you know, what I'm saying we're. But you started that while you were married, though. You started that while I. I you're I missing know my that, point. What I'm saying no, is, I'm not. What I'm, what I'm saying is, if. if just because you're not, she's not in here pushing buttons and right. setting the mics up. Her support of me is supporting you. I understand that, but I I think differently. I I had a book that came out that I wrote, and I think that if my ex husband had said I deserve half the profit from your book, were we together when I was writing the book? Yes, but I think if he asked me for half the proceeds of that book, which he had the right to do. That would have been unfair. I don't think so. I think so, and I'm glad he didn't. I mean, sometimes sometimes it, it might actually be unfair, but if you have the right to do it, then you got... Well, hold on a second. We, you first got, of all, I think when, right people, when people go through divorce and... and Hell, there's, 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 there's become, a number of women that could ask for child support, and they don't. The point is, when, people, when, you, when you go through a divorce or when you get ready to split up, people who have been rational and loving their entire lives with you become your enemy, right? right. Mm -hmm. And if there's no, sometimes, paperwork. what would, right, if there's no paperwork, there's no way to protect you from someone just being vindictive or being an ass. Like, once you go through, once you're out of the marriage and we've decided that we don't want to be with each other, even if it's not that person, is their lawyer, is their parents, is their friends saying, no, get him for all he's got, make him miserable, you don't want him to be okay. Mm. And vice versa. I, I think that there that. needs to, I don't care I how much I that, hate you. But I think there are other people that will do that and I think you and I learned you don't always know what a person will do when they're not with you I learned that so I would I would suggest people to get a prenup because 
your entire idea of a person changes once you're on the other side of, you know, being in a relationship. I, so I'll I think it was a you. good idea. I agree with you on that. I, I just, I don't know that two broke people need a prenup. I mean, but nothing somebody can start out broke nothing. and not end up broke. Like, people don't always stay broke. Sometimes people get their, you know, there are a lot of people that, yeah. are, that are starting small businesses and becoming... Very affluent You know what I mean So that doesn't mean That just because You start broke You're gonna stay there In fact If we stay broke It's a problem Were we Were we friends already When you wrote the book No are you sure? I am. Because I think there were some, probably some times we talked on the phone. No. I think I... I, I had the book three already or written right now. <laughs> three or four percent. Like niggas that be you in the... You see how this... You, this is up. how that shit happens. You, you know, this niggas is be in the studio. This is how that shit goes Like, yo, down. I was there when you wrote that, I was there when you wrote that hook, bruh. I, that is. That, that's how it and goes. And that really happens. No, that does happen. That does happen. But I think that... <laughs> I think that, yes, when okay, you're in 1. love... Okay, 1.5%. When you're in love, people think rationally. And even, oh, I would never. If we if we broke up, Kevin, I would want you to be happy. Let that breakup come. I ain't saying about being happy. I, I know that I owe you some of this money, though, because you supported me. But you're also an upstanding guy. There are a lot of guys that just, especially if you didn't want the divorce. Oh, that doesn't hell matter. Hell no. That doesn't matter. If a person decides, okay, I've been nice to them, and this person is telling you, you know what, I don't love you anymore, and I've decided I want a divorce. And I'm going to take half of the money. Thank you. But I'll be going now. <laughs> you, it's not, that's not a place where you can just be benevolent. It's and like No, what? it's not about benevolent, but I would separate the fact that the half thing, because I but do you're believe... you're very rational. Yeah. I do believe that you put something in when you're with me. I'm, I'm going to require think, a lot think, of you. Can, can you acknowledge that when people break up and there's heartbreak, people aren't thinking rationally? Just because, well, just because people... Some people break up messy. Most people, people break, break up, up messy. messy. Marriages don't really end neatly. Nah. I mean, you could even say that in terms of friendships. No, that's not the same. We're talking about entwined finances, mm-hmm. children. That's totally different. So it's it's a total different. Most marriages do not end. Someone does, no, both people don't walk away happy. Is all, no, so I, that's not the same friendship. And be like, oh, there's not, there's, no, there's nothing invested besides time, which is is valuable. But it's not like something I've done to you is gonna, you're gonna carry that with you for the rest I, of your well, life. Well, I still feel like, it may, and maybe this is this is just me, but I think in terms of character, in terms of character, if someone has helped you, whether y'all decide to continue that relationship or not, hey, if you help me, if you help me, and I'm doing well, and I find out that you're not in good terms, hey, man. Take care of that. That Here, sounds great. You. That sounds great. You're not great. even gonna. Because that's that's character. To you're me. not ever gonna even be doing bad. If you help me, then I'm gonna I'm gonna holla at you when I get it. That's just me though, and that, and I would be able to separate. That's just me. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah. I would be able to separate my um, feelings from the money part of it. I yeah, would. but not everyone thinks that way. I would. It would suck, and I would hate you for leaving me. And it would. You know, what I'm saying I would. I would really hate you. But at the same time, I recognize that you put in. I mean that sounds good. I don't. I can't. Ladies, I, don't buy it. Get your prenups. Okay, don't buy it. Man, get your coin ups. Yeah, get your coin get up, your but coin protect ups. it from so you that. You got something Negro to split because or, nothing from or nothing not. If you choose to date whoever Ooh. you date, get your prenups. <laughs> you're you're gonna make people not want to like, share, or subscribe with all this. Pandering, y'all just be pandering to these people. No, I just want the women to have their people on the internet is good at doing that. No, ladies, don't let no man. <laughs> First of all, do you wrong? Every, everyone's grandmother or auntie has told wow. them make sure that you keep your money to the side. Make sure you keep a little bit I to wish the side. I motherfucker would. Every grandmother, my grandmother tell me that every like every time thinking. we talked. I hate that thinking. Yeah, but it was true though. She was right. I should have done it. Or you should no. Or you should just. What? You should have done it. Like, yeah. what kind of? That's just the vin, That's too vindictive. I, no, I can't do vindictive it. Vindictive by is. protecting yourself. You're, well, protecting pr- yourself is not vindictive. Protect the ladies. family. Well, sometimes the other person doesn't want to protect F- the then family. Figure it out. Anyway, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Fight. Fight. Don't fight. Fight. Do it. Fight. 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 Don't do it. Fight. Figure it out. You cannot always figure it out. Can Why you can't be honest? You? Could you always figure things out? Sometimes you have to figure it out. As in, get Sometimes. rid of that person. Who? Which one? You saying you get rid of that person? Or yeah, but or, I thought you were upset. 
No, I'm just saying that it doesn't always work. Either the person could be a crazed maniac or the person could be a philanderer. So so cheat is good, and hide money. Is your is your, that's your recommendation? All I said Yeah, people cheat. Cheat the you, relationship and hide you're not money. Cheating the relationship. Have you're you a guy on the side too? Have you emergency dick in a glass I didn't somewhere say any too? Of that. I well, didn't where say does it that. stop? Where's the line drawn? I didn't say that. However, ladies, if that is what you have, do not speak of it in public. <laughs> Nothing from nothing, leave nothing. <laughs> we appreciate you guys tuning in again to this we'll pandering. Take you something. <laughs> like, nigga share, and subscribe. Mouth. We love you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Yeah. Music love, love.